This is how to figure time and a half over time. Bob makes $20 per hour. When he works more than 40 hours per week, he's paid time and a half. So if he makes $20 per hour for regular pay, then half of that would be $10. So time and a half would be $30. We'd add the regular hourly pay with half of the hour to get the $30 for the time and a half. So how much will Bob make if he works 45 hours? Well, for the first 40 hours, he makes the $20 an hour. He's making $30 per hour for time and a half. So if he works 45 hours, we need to count five at $30. 40 hours at $20 per hour is $800. Five hours at $30 per hour is $150. We add these together and he'll make $950 for 45 hours. That's not too hard, is it? Let's try it again. Dave makes $11.50 per hour. If he's paid time and a half for overtime past 40 hours, how much will he make if he works 42 hours? $11.50 is how much he makes for his regular pay. Half of this is $5.75. That's half of his regular hourly pay. We add them together to get time and a half of $17.25. He works 40 to 40 hours at $11.50 per hour, that's going to be, we do our little math on the side, $460. There's two hops in the equation, so we have to put two decimal hops in the product, don't we? So he makes $460 for regular pay, and he's got 42 hours, so we have to have two more hours at this time and a half of $17.25. That comes out to $34.50, we add them together, and for 42 hours, he makes $494.50. See? That wasn't that bad, was it? Now, if you want to know more about multiplying decimals or problems like this, check the description because there'll be links to help you, okay? So that's how you figure time and a half over time. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next video. Bye.